we have been somewhere historically between socialism and capitalism in a social market economy, depending on where you are in the world. And what we've realized is that any ism is a dangerous thing, typically. You know, socialism, fascism, Nazism, capitalism, any ism as an extreme position is, hasn't been good for the environment, certainly. Because if we look at a pure capitalist, we cut down the trees and forget the fish. If we look at pure socialism, we see that the former USSR, by some accounts, has been declared 16% uninhabitable. It's called ecocide. 16% uninhabitable. So anything that's this extreme is, is, is problematic. Now, there's a third ism that has been brought to the picture, which is ecologism. And in its extreme form is ecologism. It would be just as radical a position relative to capital and social uh, requirements. And so what we're really looking for is a balance of all these energies toward a design that meets capital need, social need, and ecological need. And in fact, if we look for a delightfully diverse response, we can develop a protocol that allows us to look at the three uh, legs of sustainable development, economy, equity, and ecology, through a different set of lenses. And we can bring these three together by design. And so we've developed, for our use, a, a fractal tool, which is uh, based on the Sierpinski gasket, which is a mathematical fractal, um, scaleless, basically. And, and you can, we can run around this fractal and ask questions like this one. What would it be for... What would it mean for somebody to be 100% down in here? Well, this would be the economic corner of the economic corner. So what would the question in this box be? Can I make it and sell it at a profit? That would be the question. And the answer would be, if you can't do it, then you, you can't make a profit, then you're not in business. So let's proceed. The next would be here. This would be the equity corner of the economy triangle. What would it be? Well, this would be something like, are people earning a living wage? It's the social dimension of the economy. This would be the economic corner of the equity corner. What would the question there be? Uh, are men and women being paid the same for the same work, for example? Here would be a pure equity question. This was where we'd find racism or sexism, pure social question. Um, this would be, are we producing products that have cancer? Are we producing workplaces where people are exposed to carcinogens? Is that fair from an ecological and social equity perspective? This question would be, are we causing climate change or polluting a river? Uh, something that is affecting the world and the world's ecology. This would be ecology, ecology. Are you following nature's laws? This would be what we call eco-effectiveness. And, and here, a, a, a little bit more on this in a few minutes. And this is what we call eco-efficiency, where I'm being efficient with my materials. Now, what we found is that often that people focus, when they talk about sustainable development, on this triangle down here. And so you end up with business for social responsibility. See, it's business first for social responsibility, and it ends up in this, this little triangle here. Uh, you'll end up with eco-efficiency, where we're doing the same things that we've been doing, but doing them more efficiently. That would be here. It's a business with an ecological uh, metric being brought to it. And profit, we understand. So what we're looking for is this broader definition of sustainable development that gets down to the nitty-gritty in, ver in various sectors uh, and, and can incorporate them by design. 